I didn't even notice my window was broken when I first walked up to the car, but as I started to unlock my door, I thought, what is that in my front seat? I look and realize, oh my gosh, my window is broken out and my stuff's gone. I immediately just start scanning everything, looking around. Please tell me there are cameras. I see one over here on this building. Of course, I went over there. It's a new building and they haven't turned their security on. I start looking all around the gym, nothing there. I do see a girl that works at GB3. I see her every day. I ask her, please tell me you have cameras. No, they have nothing. I had read some reviews on the internet that uh, some people were having their cars broken in. They, were, they would only be here for a few minutes. So I felt like this guy had to be sitting in the parking lot watching me. It was packed. It was the middle of the day. People were going to lunch. They were going in for a quick workout. So because I wasn't alert, I didn't recognize that there might have been somebody actually watching me, waiting for somebody just like me to leave their stuff in the car and go inside. The police believe they caught the person behind a rash of burglaries in the parking lot outside GB3 on Palm and Knees. But people who park here are still nervous. And like I'm finding myself just walking out and like staring at my car every few minutes. Okay, so what do you do? It's confirmed. My bag's gone. I love that bag and all my stuff in it. My credit cards, my check card, everything, my life. Thankfully, I do have my cell phone, so I immediately start looking and finding Bank of America, my Capital One card, and I just start making phone calls. According to the credit card company, the crook was fast. 20 minutes after I walked in the gym, he hit a 7-Eleven down Herndon toward the 99. Next, a jack-in-the-box just next door. Third, a Circle K and Tower. But I got to my card company before his next buy at the Sanger Walmart, and the thief was denied. I was actually relieved to know that the crook came here because Walmart's known for its security. And sure enough, after making phone calls, tracking this guy down through my credit card companies and through these different store locations, the asset protection people, that's their security department, actually located the guy. They've seen him on their cameras. So I filled out my police report. You can fill it out online. Of course, Fresno Police, very busy, so this helps you get right in, get a police report number. I filled it in yesterday afternoon about 5.30. I haven't heard back from them yet, but I've already done, taken the necessary steps. And now when they come to this Walmart, they'll be able to see this guy. So even though we haven't caught him yet, uh, we will, we'll track him down.